So in this new series, we are going to learn how to use OpenCV, which is a computer vision Python library that we can use to make some cool projects. Then we are going to integrate it with Arduino to create this simple project. For example, I can control the brightness of this light using my fingers. I have calculated the distance between the thumb and the index. Then we can use it to control the brightness using PWM. For now, it is 100%. We can adjust it to be 50% the brightness. And this is just one example. We can use the same library to create some robot arms. We can control a robot arm using our hand. And this is going to be our first episode. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That helps me a lot. At this point, we are not going to use our Arduino board. We're going to learn the basics of OpenCV. Then we'll create these cool projects. First of all, you have to install Python, as well as the IDE that we use to write our Python code, which is PyCharm. I've already done that in our last episode, so make sure to check it out. Then you can follow along. Let's start off by creating a new project using a new project, and we can give it a name, like OpenCV. Under here we have the Python version, which is 3.11. If you are using another one, don't worry, there is no big differences. Then we can create the project using this button. By default, we will have the sample code. I'm going to get rid of it using Ctrl A and return. This is a main.py file that we can run to test our code using this button, run. To make sure that everything is working, let's try to print something using the print method. Hello OpenCV. Then we can run it again. And yup, it is working just fine. Now we can start using OpenCV. Before you can do that, you have to install this package by going to File, Settings, and under the Python project name, which is OpenCV, we have to select Python Interpreter, and here we have all of the packages in our project. Let's add a new one and search for OpenCV-Python. Make sure to select the right one on top and hit Install Package. Here we have installed successfully, we can close this window. To use the library, we have to import it using import, and the name is cv2. So OpenCV is an open source computer vision library. Today we will learn how to use it to read images and how to write it, as well as displaying it using a window. For example, I want to read this image, which is our channel's logo. The method that we use for that is cv2 dot read, which takes in a string, and it is the path of the image. So to get it, we can right click and go to the properties. So here's the path, but it's a little bit long. Luckily we have another method. We can take this image and put it under our project using right click, copy to get the project files. We can right click on our main file and select it open in Explorer. I'm gonna right click and paste it. I'm gonna give it another name like my logo. And you don't have to take all of this path. We can actually write the name which is called the relative path. Now to display the image using our code, we have to put it inside another object, like logo equals what this function returns, and the method that we use to display it is called cv2 dot show that takes in two parameters. The first one is the name of the window, like my logo, and the other parameter is the actual logo object. If you run this file, you will not be able to see the image because it disappears immediately. We need to stop our code right here so that we can see the image. And the way we do that is by using cv2 dot wait key. This will wait until we press a key and that's gonna block our code so that we can see the logo image. There you go, we have our logo and the name my logo. And whenever you press a key like the space key, we can exit out of this. And it is recommended to make sure that all of the windows are closed using cv2 dot destroy all windows. Now that we know how to read and show an image, I'm going to show you how to write it or save it in another format. For now we have a PNG image. To save a new one, we can use cv2 dot I am right. We have to pass in two parameters. The first one is the name of the image, like my logo. And we can specify the new format using .jpg. And the second parameter is the actual frame that we have called logo. And it is this object. Let's give it a try and check if it's working. 
Now you see that we have this new image in another format, JPEG. Before I finish this video, I'm going to show you how to read images from your main camera or we can display the real-time video. Let's get rid of these lines of code. First of all, we have to create an object that is called video capture and call it cap as an example equals cv2 dot and we have this class video capture and it takes in an index that could be 0 or 1 so if you have two cameras you have to select one of them using the index 0 or 1 for me I have one camera so I will write 0 next we can set some properties like the width and the height of the window using cap and the method that we use is called set that takes in the property ID or we can use a name and it is called cap underscore property or prop then underscore frame width to set the width like 600 next I'm gonna set the height using cap dot set and we use cv2 dot cap underscore property we want to select the frame height and use a value like 500 for now we haven't read an image we have just created or initialized this video capture to read the image from the main camera we can use cap dot and the method read which return the image as well as a boolean that we can use to check whether we have read the image successfully we can put these two values inside two variables the first one is the boolean that I'm gonna call success then we add comma and the second parameter name which is the frame or the actual image that we're gonna read equals what this method returns then I will check if we have read the image successfully using an if statement if success equals true or we can simply use success then colon in such case we are going to display this frame using our method cv2 dot im show the first parameter is the name and the frame object which is called frame the same thing we need to wait so that we can see the window using wait keys or cv2 dot wait key which waits indefinitely until we press a key and use cv2 dot destroy all windows I hope that makes sense let's give it a try using run and here's the image that we have read using cap.read but we want to continuously take these images from our main camera and the way we do that is by adding a while loop I'm gonna put all of these lines of code inside a while so let's cut it using ctrl x and write while true in such case we are going to use cap.read to read the frame if it's done successfully we can show it using im show the only problem with this is that the method wait key will wait indefinitely until we press a certain key and we will not be able to see the images continuously but if you pass in an integer like one this is called the delay it is one second this will only wait for one sec then it will move on to the next line of code and enter this while loop again so that we can read the next frame let's stop this code using this button and run it again you see that the window closes automatically and that's because we have this line of code to destroy all windows actually we have to put it outside I'm gonna cut it and there you go we have the video because we are taking the frames over and over again by the way we can't close the window even if I press a key because we haven't told Python to close the window whenever we press a certain key to do that I'm gonna stop the program from here basically our method wait key returns an integer if there is no key is pressed it's gonna return minus one otherwise it's gonna be another number for example if you press the A key it's gonna be uh, 97 so I will check if cv2.wait key is not minus one that means we have pressed a key in such case we are going to exit using break to check a specific key like A we can use 97 or you could use a built-in method that is called ORD this takes in the character like A and it returns the value in this case it is 97 I will use the letter Q to quit of course we need to check if it's the code of the Q key in such case we're gonna exit using a break so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit the subscribe button that helps me a lot in our next videos we are going to create some projects using these frames now if I press the Q key we can exit out of this program and destroy all of the windows and I will see you in the next one